Welcome back to Silly Shelly. Today I wanted to try to make a diaper dress, a diaper cake made to look like a dress for a baby girl shower. It's something I've seen a lot of photos on but had no idea how to get started and I decided to try and wing it. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out but stay tuned and you'll learn along with me. <laughs> the supplies I have on hand for this project include a nice soft baby blanket in two shades of pink, uh, light pink on one side, dark on the other, and uh, trimmed in black. The baby shower I'm making this for, the theme for that baby shower is cow print, black and white cow print, trimmed in pink. I also have a couple packages of size one diapers. I have a couple different kinds because I don't know if mom has a preference or if the baby's going to be sensitive to one or the other. I'm not sure how tall this should be, but I'm guessing maybe two bottles high. I have a bottle of a baby powder and a, another bottle of baby wash that I plan on using in the center and building my uh, uh, tiers around that. So it looks like it's going to be about four tiers tall diaper wise. So to start off I have an eight inch cake, uh, round cake, um, what's it called? Um, cardboard to put a cake on. <laughs> I can't even think of the word. And I'm going to put some hot glue just in the very center and put the baby powder on that and then some hot glue on top of that to add the baby wash. The good thing about the hot glue is once it's dried you can pretty much just peel it off with a fingernail or something and pop the glue off and you can still use the products and they won't be harmed by the hot glue. In addition I have these um, kind of boas that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were um, $4.99 each but they were on sale for 50% off when I purchased them. I got one in black and one in white. I also have some black and white cow print material that I purchased from Hobby Lobby as well. And you could use a receiving blanket or something else for, uh, for the sash of the dress, but I couldn't find anything in cow print, so I just went with a swatch of material I also have some ribbon and some flowers and some headbands I plan to use somewhere um, on this design. I have a great idea in my head, but I'm not sure it's going to come out the way I envision it, but we'll do our best. So I realized one of my bottles was backwards, so I re-glued my bottles onto my cake round and now I'm going to add diapers. I'm going to add six diapers to the first inside row and then I'm going to do a second row on the outside of that with about ten diapers. These diapers are going to be rolled up just like this starting at the waist and rolling to the uh, fold and then secured with an elastic band. If you don't want to use elastics or rubber bands, you can tie all of these off with string or ribbon if you choose. And like I said, I'm going to do six on the inner row. Um, and they're held together with a rubber band just long enough for me to tie a little piece of ribbon around them. And once I've done that, I will use the rubber band that's already there and tuck ten more diapers to make the outside um, layer and then when I'm done with that I will tie off a, tie it off with ribbon and remove that rubber band. I'll actually just pull that rubber band up to use for the next layer or the next tier. So here we go with tier number two and tier number two I want it to be not quite as wide because this is getting more to the middle of the dress so I'm going to do just one um, one time around these bottles. 
but I want it to be a little bigger than just the six, so I'm going to do eight, um, eight diapers around the bottles, and I'm going to tie that off with ribbon. Now I'm going to need one more layer, I'm sorry, one more tier of eight diapers above that, and then the top tier is going to be just like the bottom. It's going to have an inner layer of six and an outer layer of eight. And here, <laughs> here is my funny looking uh, masterpiece. I did use two pieces of ribbon to go around the top just because the top seemed a little loose and wobbly. So um, this is the inner part that no one's going to see until mom takes it apart. I know it's kind of funny looking. So I'm going to take my blanket and just try and figure out how to fold it so it's about the right height. I know that I want the uh, black trim to show on the bottom to kind of look like um, layers of a skirt, but I'm not exactly sure if I want the light pink on top or the dark pink on top. Yeah, I think something like that would be cute. All right, so I want to try and keep my seam in the back, um, which doesn't really matter what's front and back, um, but I'm trying to keep the, the back of the blanket even with the back of where I put all the knots in the ribbon, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, think, thinking about it, it doesn't really matter. So you can have it start and stop wherever you want. Um, what I'm going to do is just fold in. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just going to fold in this back to hide that black trim. And then I'm going to have to secure this with corsage pins because that's just what I have available. If you have a better way to do it, feel free to use whatever way you you have. Uh, I'm not sure if double-sided tape would work in this situation. This is a lot of, for this particular blanket, it's really thick. If you had a thinner blanket, it might work well. But if you're using the pins, a couple things. Be sure to tell the mom-to-be or anyone else handling the cake that there are pins in it and to be careful. And if you can, keep track of how many pins you use so you can let them know how many there are. So when they're taking it apart, they know um, if there's any left so they won't poke themselves. Also with pins, try your very best not to poke into the diapers because those little pinholes can leak um, when a diaper is being used. And the goal of a diaper cake most of the time is so that the diapers can be reused. And in this case, they can be. So I'm just going to pin this all the way down so that it has a nice, um, clean look. Even though this is the back, I still want it to look nice. Now for the sash, I'm just folding in, I'm just kind of folding it and refolding it and just trying to make it fit uh, around the dress as best I can. Um, I don't know if I want a wide sash or if I want a thinner sash. Um, you know, I'm just kind of <laughs> just figuring this out along with you guys. Um, if you have a receiving blanket or burp cloth or um, uh, cloth diapers or things that you're using as your sash, obviously you won't have as much extra material to to work with as I do, um, but yeah, I just want to tie something around the center that I can actually cinch in a little bit to give more of a shape, an uh, hourglass type shape. I don't want it to be extreme, but I do want to give it a little bit of a shape so you can tell it is supposed to be a dress. And I'm just going to use pins and pin it in the back, um, try and keep my seams close to the seam that I've already created with the blanket. Um, after I get this figured out and maybe learn from some things that I'm, I might want to change next time, uh, I'll try and post another dress video sometime in the future uh, for another baby shower I'm going to in the fall. 
So um, if you have any of uh, videos of diaper cake dresses that you've made, feel free to leave a video response below. That is so much fun to watch what other people have done and, and <laughs> learn there's so many other ways to do things. I'm really bad about trying to figure it out and making it a lot harder than it should be. And then I see someone else's video and I'm like, ah, oh, what did I think of that? To help hold it on, I think I'm going to use this headband if it'll fit. And just put the flower, put the flower off to the side a little bit. I, I think I'm going to put it on the sash. This wasn't very well thought out, was it? <laughs> There we go. I think we've got the flower uh, headband on the sash. I think, I think that'll work. Now I also have some other headbands and bows and things. I think I'm going to put another headband across the top just to help keep the top up so it doesn't slip down. Uh, I don't know that it will, but this is going to be moved around a lot and I would like to make sure that it doesn't. So I'm going to slip another headband over the top. And unfortunately, they don't match, so they're going to look a little silly. All right, I have a bouquet of flowers, and I'm going to go ahead and poke them in the top just for just to give it more height and more interest. Um, in my head, it sounds like it's going to look really good, but I have not seen one like that um, in any photos, so I may end up taking the flowers back out. I haven't decided. Uh, yet if it's a smart idea. Also I'm going to tuck those boas. I cut them in half. My I have one black and one white and I'm going to tuck them in the top around the flowers just to cover any of the diapers so you can't actually see the diapers. And I'm just tucking. I'm not gluing. I'm not pinning. I'm not doing anything. Just tucking the ends and, and every few inches in between diaper folds. Um, just tucking it in. It's not a permanent thing. If it comes out, I'll just tuck it back in again when I get there. And for the bottom, I'm going to do almost the same thing, but I'm actually going to hot glue them to the bottom. I am going to be very careful when I glue to glue only to the cardboard and the boas, and I'm going to um, hold the blanket out of the way so the blanket doesn't get glued down. The hot glue will probably not come out of the blanket. Uh, in the wash. So here's my completed look. This is what I came up with. Um, not exactly what I had in mind, but it's not too bad and I think the mom will like it. it it's all usable. Uh, if she wants to use those pieces of boa, there each one is a few feet long. If she wants to use them for decoration, she can. Also the sash material. Um, if not, it is just a little bit of money. No big deal. Um, I would not use these bows again though because they are extremely messy and I had to vacuum my workspace several times. Um, I would find something else <laughs> to kind of cover up and, and, and add as my uh, trim. So uh, the flowers on top, uh, eh, I probably wouldn't use that again either. But um, this, is, this is it and I hope mom likes it. Um, she can definitely use the diapers. I ended up using 48 diapers. There was 16 on the bottom and 16 on the top and 8 and 8 on the middle two tiers. So um, she's got 48 diapers size 1 she can use and also a beautiful blanket. Uh, the blanket, I forget the exact size, but I found it at Ross for only $8. It's a really good buy and um, I hope mom likes it. If not, <laughs> well, at least she can use some of the some of the things or, or give them to someone else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I try to upload a new diaper project or baby shower project every couple weeks. And um, I would love if you leave comments or video responses. I would love some ideas for future videos. If you want to leave those comments below, that would be great. And um, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.